everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this crossed single crochet stitch which creates a solid fabric. It's similar on the front as it is on the back. It has a little bit of texture and it's very fun and easy to work. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook as well as a worsted weight yarn called Pima Cotton and uh, it's a 100% cotton yarn. There'll be direct links to both of these items in the description of the video as well as a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of two. So today I'm just going to work a small swatch and I'm going to work a total of 20 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working into the second chain from your hook. So count in one, two, and into that second chain, you're going to work a single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one, skip the next chain, and single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next chain, and single crochet into the next stitch. When you come all the way across, chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into the top of the first stitch. Chain one. We're now going to work a single crochet two together in over each of the next chain one spaces. So we're not going to work into the single crochet. We're going to skip that single crochet and work into the two chain one spaces. So insert your hook in the chain one space, yarn over, drop a loop, skip the single crochet into the next chain one space, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're then going to chain one. Next, you're going to work another single crochet two together, working in the chain one space that you just worked and in the next one. So insert your hook into that same space, yarn over, draw up a loop, insert your hook into the next space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three, and chain one. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Single crochet two together beginning in the space that you just worked, chain one and repeat. When you come all the way across and you have one single crochet stitch remaining and one space, you're going to chain one and work your final single crochet two together into the chain one space just worked and into the final single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For the rest of the pattern, you are going to repeat row two, continuing to work into the chain one spaces. So we've chained one, turned our work, begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch, chain one, and then into the next chain one space, 
And these can be tricky to find because of the two togethers that you've worked. So into this first chain one space, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, then into the next chain one space. And again, it might be tricky to see at first, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through three, chain one and repeat. So work your single crochets two together in the chain one spaces all the way across chain one, turn your work and uh, so on. So simply repeat that row two for as long as you would like. And that's all there is to working the crossed single crochet stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.